we're going to cover wildflowers and bugs. And you can see that I have created a paint party that's available now. And this is where I really share with you some more tricks, the, how to put it all together, you know, because I really want to focus the first five courses of the program to be able to create something. Because by now you've done enough paper practice and wax paper and plastic sheets and now you want to get on a canvas. So you're going to see the difference between the practice sheets and the canvas and the canvas is going to be way easier. So I just wanted to give you a little project to utilize everything that you've learned so far and or start right from the beginning and because um, I do cover a lot of color theory and gradient information in the very first course and I do not try to repeat anything uh, in the course coming after so that you're always learning something new. Okay, so we've already covered daisies and we've already covered our teardrop, we've already covered our one stroke leaf, you know, we've played around with liner practice so that you'll be able to do the Queen Anne flower and throw some grass in there and um, so what today we're going to cover is uh, the new flowers and the new techniques. This is spring, everything's all bright in the spring and um, so that's what I was trying to, a nice bright, bright canvas here to, to do. So welcome to the wildflowers. So we're going to start with our one stroke leaf that we, we did, but we're going to try and slide it along. And a lot of times if you're not feeling comfortable with dancing yet, they're going to look something like this, which is okay because at least you're getting in the right direction. And then you can start, you know, dancing with that leaf a little bit more and sliding it out. And again, it all depends on your direction. So when you're curving it down and, you know, this, I'm doing it very straight and only humping one side of my brush. So and in the video, Next, I'm going to show you how I'm humping out these sides. This is just a very basic kind of curly leaf. We're not going to get too crazy, I promise. Uh, when we get to the advanced study for the leaves, that's when we're really going to go crazy. So um, today I'm really trying to get you to dance with that brush again. And no wiggling here, okay? I am going to give you lots of wiggling options in the shell stroke course. So again, I really want you to focus on trying smoother strokes and pressure is the key for these strokes. Okay. And again, this is a really cute little leaf and it's just all about pressure. There's no wiggling here. So of course you can throw a couple in where I was saying earlier that, you know, you're putting the light on both sides on the out, but then you can flip your brush around and put it all dark around the outside as well. Okay, so we're, we're definitely getting a little uh, more difficult leaves going on here. And um, so we're going to be adding those in different sizes coming up. Okay, so we've danced with our liner brush and now we're really going to focus on dancing with our flat brush. Okay, this is all done with a flat brush. Okay, so this kind of gives you an option if you want to make like an underwater project. You know, these make really nice long grass floating through the water you know, so give you some other ideas oh so again i like you to think that you can do this course and apply a lot of these tricks to any programs that i have so this is just a template of a background now when i show you all these different types of flowers throughout your program this is going to be an extra sheet that you have now that you know you know how to do the stems you know how to do the leaves but you want to just play with a bunch of different flowers and you kind of want to see what it's going to look like on a bush here you have a little template that you can put some wax paper or play on your pl plastic sheet and um, or try to copy my uh, strokes here too because if some people are not sure about placement how to put a bush together so these are going to be some examples for you with a couple different varieties of leaves that you can play with and or just add to put your own flower on there and just focus on flowers right now and I've given you a background to start with. Okay, so here's another one here too. And you can, this is a little flip here for you to play with. Sometimes we're practicing how to do flowers that are, you're only seeing the back side of them. So this is a, a definitely a nice little template for you to play. And you can go right over my strokes, okay? 
and I'm going to show you how to do these softer type ones too. Some have more of a point, some are more of a soft edge on here. Okay, and this is the beginning stages of learning how to do your dragonfly. Okay, so that's why I've added some bugs in here because the strokes that I've done for the bugs are going to be very similar to some of the ones that you're learning for leaves. Okay, so again, this one's a little bit more viney. This is really pretty to put on a, a wall if you want to do around the bathroom and do like a nice vine. You can, you know, learn how to do fruit and do grapes or whatever you like on here um, through the program. And uh, again, this is going to be your basis for all the flowers to come, right? So here's a couple more. Okay, so you see this is the before and this is one of my afters. So here I tried to do some buttercups and some forget-me-nots. Okay, a lot of times with the forget-me-nots, you only see the top of the flower on the top of the branch. It doesn't usually go all the way down the branch. So you're just doing a few on each at the top of each sprig. Right? So just a couple here and there. And of course, you always see them in pinks and blues. So you can play with your pinks and blues and uh, get a little bit more different variations if you like. Okay, so I did play around and created this pink, so I'll show you that later. So here we are, I was telling you about those strokes for the dragonfly. So I put in the dragonfly next. So you can play around, again, trying to focus on one style at a time as well. So then we have putting it together a little bit more and how I just put use the liner to kind of go around it to detail it and there's different ways of doing it. Definitely I do it more an advanced type style in the paint party. So get the main look of it going on and then we can start scaling it differently. And again you can see that even doing it with one stroke, so I practice just doing it with one stroke and then you'll see where I did the dark on the top and the light on the top. Again, it depends. You see this dragonfly looks like he's swooping down. This guy looks like he's flying up. So there's no right or wrong which way you flip your brush. So then I've got the bumblebee. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. And I'm showing you a couple different sizes here you can play with. And we've already learned how to do our teardrops, but we're going to just try to give it a little bit more shape, okay? And hump it out and then come up and around and then make a smaller one. And that's how I do my little side version of the monarch. And today we're going to just focus on monarchs. Um, I definitely love Googling real pictures of real butterflies and try to recreate uh, my look from a real picture as opposed to somebody else's version of a painting. Um, you get some nice wonderful ideas of, of somebody's work definitely but and even my own but when you look at a real butterfly you can kind of see how it's not always perfect so definitely um, you know, we're going to play around and I'll show you that in another video to come, okay? Alright, so then we're going to go crazy with our pouncers and I, this is an exercise where I just want you to keep flipping your brush, add a little bit more yellow, add a little more white, and you know, just play with, you know, three to four colors of greens and white and yellow, um, like three or four colors total with your two greens maybe if you want to do the thicket and the sap and then put a yellow and a white in there and uh, just keep playing around because that's how I did my background of the uh, wildflower paint party. Now we're going to do some chisel practice. Okay, We did play around a little bit. These are tiny little daisy strokes but layering them now to really make them look unique like you know because you can use the same color but it's all about placement How and then about the size of the brush you use. Okay, so I'll give you a couple different varieties of options. I will label the colors I used for each. Okay, and I will show you in the demonstration part of the course. Okay, so we have uh, this kind of wild uh, plant here grows in our grass. And I couldn't find the exact name for it, but I do have some pictures that I show, I'll show you uh, reference. And they're the ones that you can kind of pick off the little buds and suck on them. The bees love these guys. And they're they're almost like a thistle, but they're not. These ones are the really picky, picky ones, right? These ones come in a lot of different variations, colors, 
and uh, I tried to create a little bud one too, and um, just what's what, what we know already. These are all little one stroke leaf kind of things, just done with tiny little brushes and more flicky kind of style where they're not perfect. Because here I want you to be a flicky, I want it to be dry on the edges and really kind of wispy in a way um, to make it look like it's really spiny and picky. Okay, and again, I did that over here to just throw you a, a quick little leaf in there. Okay, so this is how I started my buds. Okay, I'll show you in the demonstration. And then this will all make sense to you. And so this is the beginning stages to practice how to do all of the greenery of the Queen Anne's. And then how I put it together. So even though I'm not putting my big uh, design in this course, I am giving you little mini uh, designs to do that look really wonderful all by themselves if you just want to focus on one plant. So this is something a little bit different for you to do. Okay, so we're just going to play around a little bit more with our teardrops and make them look a little bit different. But also what I wanted to focus here a little bit more on is how to do a back of a flower. So this, if you did it in the yellow, could look like the back of a butterfly cup. So you got to use your imagination with one stroke uh, because these flowers could create uh, a lot of different flowers. And depending on the type of leaf they have, maybe they have long slider leaves, maybe they have short little pudgy leaves. You know, a lot of curly leaves, um, you know, different colors of leaves. That's what's going to make your plant stand out and make it look like it's that plant. Okay, and that's what I tried to focus on in my paint party. Was trying to recreate, you know, the best version of a natural plant. Okay. So here we have the dandelions. <laughs> I was going to call them sunflowers. Um, okay, so I've got my couple different variations here. And also, these are not daisy strokes, these are pounce. So this is another little technique that I'm going to show you in this class again. A little bit different. Okay, and then also the back of the uh, dandelion that has gone all to seed. Okay, so um, empty pages for you. Okay, I left these labeled from last time for you. I gave you another one. You can label it yourself. And some smaller lines and vertical horizontal. Okay, so it's a big PDF this time, 26 pages. And um, definitely, you know, I've got a lot to, um, to show you in this course that's new. Uh, and then, like I said, this is going to be everything we've learned all together in one project. So I hope that's a little clear on the differences between when you've seen this painting as opposed to the course. Like I said, we're going to break this all down step by step, and then when you join me on the paint party, then you'll be able to recreate this no problem with all the little extras about backgrounds and how to put some extra shading in there and uh, what I do different when I, when I actually put a piece together, okay, how to layer it together.